the soul of NVIDIA, the intersection of computer graphics, physics, artificial intelligence. It all came to bear at this moment. Most of the robots today are pre-programmed. They're either following rails on the ground, digital rails, or they'd be following April tags. But in the future, they're going to have perception. When the CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Huang, speaks, we all listen. It's now very evident that NVIDIA is thinking well beyond AI microchips. NVIDIA is on a mission to speed up the development of humanoid robots across the globe, and they've just made a big announcement at the conference, SIGGRAPH. What was this massive rollout they just announced? And does this mean we'll see AI humanoid robots walking down the street much sooner? And did NVIDIA just say they were working on a brain for humanoid robots? You're gonna want to see this, so let's get to it. What is NVIDIA trying to do here? So, they're rolling out a range of new tools and services aimed at robot manufacturers, AI model developers, and software makers. The goal? To help these innovators develop, train, and build the next generation of humanoid robots more efficiently than ever before. So, what exactly is NVIDIA offering? They've introduced new microservices and frameworks, like NVIDIA NIM and the NVIDIA Osmo Orchestration Service. These tools are designed to handle the heavy lifting of robot simulation and learning. Plus, there's a new AI and simulation-enabled teleoperation workflow that lets developers train robots with just a small amount of human demonstration data. This means robots can learn quicker and with less input from us humans. Jensen Huang, NVIDIA's founder and CEO, is pretty excited about where all this is headed. He said, the next wave of AI is robotics, and one of the most exciting developments is humanoid robots. According to Huang, NVIDIA is enhancing its entire robotic stack, making it accessible to developers and companies around the world. They're giving these innovators the tools they need to create the best humanoid robots possible. After all, he's already started developing an AI robot brain that is heavy under wraps at the moment. Oh, wait. You haven't heard about this. Well, stay tuned. I'll cover this at the end. But first, do you have any idea what NVIDIA NIM and NVIDIA Osmo even is? And why it could lead to mass production of AI humanoids? NIM microservices are pre-built containers powered by NVIDIA's inference software. These containers help developers cut down deployment times dramatically, from weeks to just minutes. Two new AI microservices in NIM, MimicGen and RoboCasa, are particularly exciting. MimicGen generates synthetic motion data from teleoperated data captured by devices like the Apple Vision Pro. On the other hand, RoboCasa creates simulation-ready environments in OpenUSD a universal framework for building and collaborating in 3D worlds. Then there's NVIDIA Osmo. This is a cloud-native managed service that lets users orchestrate and scale complex robotics workflows across distributed computing resources, whether those resources are on-premises or in the cloud. Osmo makes robot training and simulation workflows much simpler, slashing development cycles from months to under a week. Developers can easily manage tasks like generating synthetic data, training models, running reinforcement learning, and performing software in-the-loop testing for humanoids, autonomous robots, and industrial manipulators. Now, what's the real game-changer here that could give NVIDIA the edge? Training foundation models for humanoid robots requires a ton of data, and capturing that data through human demonstration can be both expensive and time-consuming. NVIDIA has introduced an AI and Omniverse-enabled teleoperation workflow that was demonstrated at SIGGRAPH. This workflow allows researchers and AI developers to generate massive amounts of synthetic motion and perception data from just a small amount of remotely captured human demonstrations. Here's how it works. Developers use Apple Vision Pro to capture a handful of teleoperated demonstrations. These recordings are then simulated in NVIDIA Isaac Sim, where the Mimic Gem NIM microservice generates synthetic datasets from those recordings. This data is used to train the project GRT Humanoid Foundation model, which helps developers save time and reduce costs. They can also use the RoboCasa NIM microservice in Isaac Lab to create experiences that help retrain the robot model. Throughout this process, NVIDIA Osmo handles the computing jobs, saving developers from the hassle of managing administrative tasks for weeks. Courier, a company specializing in general-purpose robot platforms, sees the value in this approach. Alex Gu, Fourier's CEO, mentioned that developing humanoid robots is incredibly complex and requires a massive amount of real-world data. NVIDIA's new simulation and generative AI tools, he says, will help accelerate their development processes significantly. But do you want to know the biggest announcement that could propel humanoid robots into mass production? The fact that NVIDIA isn't just keeping these tools to themselves. 
they're making them accessible to developers worldwide. They're offering three main computing platforms to ease the process of humanoid robotics development. NVIDIA AI supercomputers for training models. NVIDIA Isaac Sim built on Omniverse for robot skill refinement in simulated worlds. And NVIDIA Jetson Thor humanoid robot computers for running those models. Developers can use any or all of these platforms, depending on their needs. Through the new NVIDIA Humanoid Robot Developer Program, developers can get early access to these new tools and the latest releases of NVIDIA Isaac Sim, NVIDIA Isaac Lab, Jetson Thor, and the Project GRTT Humanoid Foundation models. Companies like Boston Dynamics, Fourier, ByteDance Research, and others are already on board, joining the Early Access Program. Aaron Saunders, CTO of Boston Dynamics, highlighted the long history of collaboration between Boston Dynamics and NVIDIA. He's excited about how this partnership is pushing the robotics industry forward and sees the Early Access program as a fantastic opportunity to access top-notch technology. But as we all know, NVIDIA can't sit quietly and just let others use their suit of AI tools. What if I told you NVIDIA was working on creating a mega brain for humanoid robots? Enter Project GRTT. Project GRTT is NVIDIA's ambitious undertaking to develop a general-purpose foundation model specifically designed for humanoid robots. After all, a beautiful robot is only as good as its AI capabilities. This model is intended to be the core intelligence behind these robots, enabling them to understand and respond to natural language, learn from human demonstrations, and adapt to real-world environments. So, what do we know about this AI brain so far? NVIDIA has been tight-lipped, and I don't doubt them honestly. It's highly likely that the GRTT is being extensively tested and refined within the simulated environments provided by NVIDIA Isaac Sim, which we talked about earlier. This allows for rapid development and iteration without the risks and costs associated with real-world testing. Given the rapid advancements in generative AI, it's probable that GRTT is incorporating techniques from this field to enhance its capabilities, such as generating diverse training data or improving natural language understanding. In other words, the NVIDIA's AI brain is likely getting smarter and smarter each and every day. What we do know is NVIDIA is collaborating with other companies to speed up the development of their AI robot brain. NVIDIA is likely collaborating with robotics companies to gather real-world feedback and integrate GRTT into their systems. This partnership approach can accelerate development and ensure the model's practical applicability. But let me ask you one final question. Have you seen the latest with the world's most advanced humanoid robot, Amica? Well, you should probably watch this video here.